Hello everybody, welcome to Learn for Connecting. In the last tutorial, we have seen how Git commit works and how it differs from SVN. In this tutorial, we are going to see how we can modify the commit message in the last commit and also the files in the last commit. So let's start. So the objective of this tutorial is to get into how we can modify the commit message in the last commit and the files that are committed in the last commit. So this operation of modifying the message or files in the last commit should be done before pushing the changes to the public repository. So this thing you should keep in mind otherwise it will create problem for those developers who have already pulled that files in their local system. So prerequisite for this tutorial is some softwares and some sort of knowledge that we have mentioned in the YouTube description. So we have divided this tutorial in two objectives. One is changing the commit message and the second is changing the files in the last commit or adding files in the last commit. So what is last commit means whatever the commit we have made and we don't want to create a new commit and we want to modify the last commit message or files that are being added in the last commit. So let's begin. In this for this tutorial we, we have again make use of the same project that was used in the last tutorial in part 3. So let's add one function in this simple calculator app. I am adding a multiply function and just calling it from main. So let's commit this file using NetBeans. Git commit. So this file, suppose we add a message with a rough message, any rough message. Suppose. Now we have committed this file with the message added function which is a raw message for a commit so it is not following any recommended format so let's see that log either command line so here I'm showing it through the command line git bash shell so this minus one is showing the last commit in the reverse chronological order means whatever the last commit is shown first so in that with stat flag we, we are able to see the file that is being committed so now we objective is to modify this message added function so to accomplish this objective we can make use the command line or through the netbeans so let's do it with the command line Git commit to make use of the amend flag a n e n d with again the minus m of n for message now here we have to put in new message suppose add multiply notation that's it so here by using this flag amend we are able to change the commit message so let's again fire the stat so again we we see that the message gets modified so if you see with minus 2 
views you will see that there is only one commit for this operation so this amend flag is simply updating the last commit and if we are not putting any files in the stage area then it will simply update the message present in the last commit so this completes our first objective so if you want to do the same thing with the netbeans you can do it uh, suppose for that instead of firing the command through the command line you can simply go here right click on the folder go to git commit and write the new message over here suppose okay new message over here and just tick this option okay and then click on this commit so it will do the same thing that we have accomplished through the command line so this is part one of the objective so for part two of the objective what is the second objective second objective is that we have added suppose the task is given to you and that task is fulfilled in two files and by mistake you have added one file in the commit and you forget to add another file so so one thing is that you have to make new commit with another file but in that case the commit is divided in two part so the task is divided into two part in two commits but that should not be recommended or that that would should not be done in this manner so if you want to put the second file in the last commit so how can we do that so let's see suppose we again add one more function and the task is to add divide function and just update the output message which is in the show output file so suppose we add one more function divide function so i'm not going to set the num2 for the zero value so this is for the restriction purpose so here i am calling the dict function which suppose value 4 and value 2 and and updating the message so in this way we have done changes in two files to complete the task of division operation as well as updating the message now suppose you have completed one file out of this two by just clicking on right clicking on this single file and doing the git commit and here you mentioned add device operation commit now after committing it you realize that oops i have committed only one file and one file still present in the id to be committed in the project to be committed so let's see what what has been gone to the commit by using this this dash let's clear the command line using the clear command to the git log with the start option so here you see that divide operation commit is showing over here with the simple calculator app.java file but now the objective is to add second file in this commit and you can also update the message or for update the commit message so for that what you have to do you can either go with the command line or, or you can go with the net means so if you want to go with the command line you just have to type in git status it will show you the file that is in modified state but still needs to go in the commit you have to add this file to the staging area and then
make the file with the MN flag. So if you want to accomplish the task of amending the commit using NetBeans, what you can do, you can simply right click the file that should be the part of the task and go to git commit. I am putting this second objective in the using by using the NetBeans because first I have shown it through git command line. So I am showing that's why intentionally I am showing it through NetBeans. So let's just right click the file that should be the part of the task and uh, use this amend last commit option in the NetBeans. And here you can update the message or leave as it is. You can write divide operation and to see what is the impact of this commit just clear the screen again and again fire the git status git log command with the stat flag now here you can see that after the multiply operation there is again only one commit no new commit is created by the command it just modified the last commit so here we have updated the message also added one file to the commit that is show output so in this way we have seen that how we can update the message as well as files in the last commit so that's all for this tutorial so thank you for watching learn for Turkey and don't forget to like and subscribe and we will keep on adding new tutorial in this series and there are there are also lot of possibilities in amending the comments or uh, we, but we have to be careful about changing this commit messages and all this should be done before pushing the changes to the public repository by using the push command so be careful and uh, there are other ways to rewrite history that we will see in the upcoming tutorial thanks